Today, I have new comic book pickups, I have some Funkos, and I have an AOK -okay from Free Key Louie. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the DJ building, back Link. in effect, and back with another video. And today, I have my usual new comic book pickups. I also picked up some Funkos that aren't for me. They aren't going in the collection. They're for my niece for Christmas. So hopefully she doesn't see this video to <laughs> after she opens her gifts because spoiler alert, Michelle. Mm. And then I have an A-OK -okay from my guy, Freaky Louie. Freaky Louie, I love doing that. Freaky Louie. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a parody song to emulate his goodness and his kindness, but let's get right into the comic book. So first book that I picked up was this, I don't even know the name of it, hold on. Black Adam Endless Winter Special Number One. This is Black Adam Endless Winter Special Number One. I picked this up because I dig the cover. I've never read a Black Adam book in my life, but I'm like, you know what? Let me let me uh, dip my toe into the Black Adam verse because I'm kind of on the fence of excitement with for uh, for the Black Adam movie starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I'm a big The Rock fan, so I figured let me uh, let me. Uh, dabble in some of this goodness so that's that uh picked up maestro number five so picked up maestro number five uh, i i dig this cover i dig this cover tremendously uh as far as the story i think the story is just going too damn fast if i'm gonna be honest spoiler alert for um people that haven't read maestro yet but the story is just going at a breakneck pace where i guess we're supposed to know that time has passed by the color of the Hulk's beard and his receding hairline. So it's just like, the more gray he is, the more bald he is, the more evil he is, I'm guessing. But things are just going like too damn fast at the expense of some of the story and missing some of the key story points. But I'm not mad at it, it, it is exciting. It's, it's, it's just going too damn fast. Like relax, slow down Maestro. Picked up King in Black number two. I can't wait to dig into this. I cannot wait to dig into this King of Black number two. This is a phenomenal cover. This is my favorite cover out of um, all the ones that were similarly priced. I wasn't going to go in and get any of the 1 in 10s, 1 in 25s, and things like that. But this is an awesome cover. If you haven't read King of, King of Black issue number one, you're doing yourself a disservice. That was one of the most action-packed, exciting comic book issues that I've read in a long, long time. Pick it up. Next on the list, Department of Truth number four. Now, I've waxed poetic about Department of Truth before on this channel. I'm loving Department of Truth. I love the conspiracy vibe. I'm definitely excited to give this issue number four a go. And then finally, and I saw this and I thought of my man, Gary B, the casual comic guy. He's always talking about Conan and Red Sonja and stuff. So this came out today, well, yesterday. Um, this king size Conan number one, I saw it and I was just like, you know what? Let me pick that up in the spirit of keeping it casual. I'm gonna grab this king size Conan. So king size Conan number one, bunch of variants on the shelf. This is the one that spoke to me. This looks badass, and I can't wait to crack this book open and see Conan kick some ass and chop some people up with his sword. So I'm excited to get into this and big shout out to Gary B, the casual comic guy for loving Conan and making me want to pick up that book. So now let's get into the Funkos. And like I said, Michelle, if you're watching, shut this off right now. Picked up some Funkos for my niece. She's real big into, uh, what is she big into? I have it right here. Oh, uh, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I never seen the whole thing in full, so I don't know if it's good or bad. I remember watching it, putting it on for my daughter back in the day and I fell asleep. So I don't know if I had a hard day at work that day or if it was just boring, but anyway, she's into that. So I picked up Mummy Boy. So this one is kind of cute, Mummy Boy. So I picked that up. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them down here because I don't want them to focus. This Jack Skellington going like that. <laughs> That's what it looks like he's doing. So this Jack Skellington. Um, Sally Sewing. So this is Sally Sewing or Sewing Sally. Sally Sewing down by the seashore. 
And then from the smaller Funkos, the Mayor. So this Mayor figure is actually pretty cool. Like I said, I uh, never really saw the movie in full. So I have to, you know, give that a shot. We'll probably watch that tomorrow, matter of fact. She's coming over, I'll probably throw it on for her. And then finally, this big ass Jack Skellington. So this is the 10 inch Jack Skellington with Zero. So I'm guessing Zero is the little pup or snow thing there at his feet. But this is uh, pretty awesome. So hopefully she'll be happy with that stuff. And if she's not happy with it, that is the last gift that I'm buying her. Mm, take that, Michelle. Um, what do I have here? I have this, uh, this awesome tote bag. So usually when I go into Royal Collectibles, that's my LCS. I pick up my comics and I, I bounce. My, um, I, I get some Funkos and things like that. But if it's stuff that I could carry, I don't want any bags because, you know, environment. But I was just like, yo, let me get one of those totes because of that big ass Jack Skellington. So this is my LCS's official tote bag. So this is cool. Just wanted to show you guys. That's pretty awesome. Um, let me throw this to the side. And then now the good stuff. This shocked me. So <laughs> check this out. Bender saying good luck. Futurama was awesome. I wasn't expecting anything and then I got this in the mail. I mean, I was expecting a bunch of stuff because truth be told, UPS is, is slacking. I got a bunch of things in the mail. But I got this from my guy, Freaky Louie. Freaky Louie, of course, is the homie. And if you're not watching Freaky Louie or if you're not subbed up to Freaky Louie, you're doing yourself a disservice. One of the most entertaining cats on YouTube, a great member of this community super positive oozing positivity freaky louie is awesome and i'm not just saying that because he sent me this so i saw this and i was like what the hell <laughs> i just got it oh snap i just got it wow so this is hilarious so <laughs> I, I i get why it's a bender now that is hilarious so i won uh, Freaky Lou is one of his weekly comic book keys and they sent it to me a while back a couple of videos back and the mailman or mail carrier bent it and shoved it into the mailbox so I guess that's why the bender is there so good luck and then on this bend this mf'er that is hilarious <laughs> uh, Bend me, I dare you, bro. Yeah, this is, yo, dude, you're, you're too funny. So let's crack this open. Now this comic is, is gonna be secure. Ah! Let me make sure I don't bend it in, in the process. All right, hold up. Now this is, this is secure. Somebody was telling me that they heard tales of um, somebody sent a comic book and <laughs> the guy was just like, please secure it. Um, make sure that you ship it secure. And they shipped it between two cutting boards and put it in the, whatchamacallit, in the envelope. Holy crap, man. Louis, what are you doing? So this is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, what the deuce? All right, one at a time. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number seven. This is a fantastic, fantastic cover. Holy crap, man. This is fire, super fire. And then on the back, and this is the comic book that was bent, the new Avengers 49. And this one seems like it's signed. Holy crap. Check that out. Woo, Freaky Louie. You, you're the man, bro. You're the man, bro. The man bro -lorian. Oh shit, I just invented something, but big shout out to Freaky Louie. Um, yeah. Uh, yo, I, like, I, I always express how much this community means to me, and this community is the greatest thing in the history of mankind. Yes, you know it's true. So big shout out to Freaky Louie. Again, if you're not subbed up to him, you're doing yourself a disservice. 
please sub up to freaky Louie. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Christmas Eve, so I wanna wish everyone a merry, merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Hanukkah passed, so uh, happy belated Hanukkah to everybody. Happy Kwanzaa, we're on the precipice of Kwanzaa right after uh, Christmas Day. Anything you celebrate, I think there's a there's over like 20, 25 holidays, or uh, uh, Christmas-like holidays uh, at this time of year. So I just wanna wish everybody, whatever you celebrate, celebrate it in kindness, be nice to everyone. Um, 2020 was a, it was a piece of shit year, but we made it through and hopefully 2021 there's nothing but positivity and brightness and just a shining light for you in the in the next year in 2021 so that's gonna do it for me ladies and gentlemen and as always subscribe like hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me and as always most importantly spread love because it's the brooklyn way merry christmas peace